say that uh, we here at CTV playing a pretty big role in an event that our uh, next guest will tell us all about. It is Youth Power 7. Uh, Josh Clausen, uh, the big deal on uh, CTV News at 5 and 6, he's going to be the uh, the host this year. Uh, uh, Rowena Kui and uh, Brad Foster with Kamikaze Punishment Foundation. Join us with a little preview of uh, Youth Power 7. Yeah. And for those who are not aware, been around seven years, but what exactly is it? You bet. Well, well first I have to show that I'm just oh. posing today. Where Congratulations, you won the belt. Yes, I did. Came Thank the you. Yes. It's, a, it's almost as big as me, but um, uh, you insisted, Brad, that, that I would wear the same. Hey, so. she took down Jared <laughs> in the back, so she's a champ now. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. So. I saw Jared. He kind of scares me. Honestly, he didn't have you quivering in your boots, I see. Oh, no, you know, I'm small but mighty. That, that's what well, I said. I so. <laughs> Uh, so back to the event. Uh, so Youth Power, it's uh, an experiential, interactive, job current education event for young people 14 to 25, and it takes place next Tuesday, May 30th uh, at Northlands. And it's just a, a chance to get them a better understanding of what's out there in the big wide world, right? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, like you said, it's the seventh year, and our success for Youth Power is built on the fact that it's young people who are helping us create this event. They let us know what careers, jobs they want to test drive, what career paths, what their talents are, and we build the event on that. We have over, have over 50 exhibitors on site, uh, including Kamikaze Punishment Foundation. And we were just showing a video where it empowers kids. Yeah. To get out there and, and, and change the world and and Juno <laughs> in a roundabout way is one way that that, that can happen, right? Well, exactly. At Kamikaze Punishment Foundation, we developed uh, four core Olympic sports, Taekwondo, boxing, wrestling, and Judo. And we blend them all together for the children and youth to train Monday through Friday after school. And we feel that failure is a key aspect for growth because when you overcome failure and you have an accomplishment and a goal the pride and your confidence level goes through the roof so we just want to see the youth empower themselves at this event and crush it in life because if we're not able to do that to help empower them, then we all lose in the end, right? Yes, exactly. You know, and this year, you know, every year we choose a new keynote speaker. We've got hypnotist Wayne Lee, who's going to set their GPS for career success. And thanks to our great sponsors, you know, you guys, Perfect Turf, Home of Trust, Northland, CTV, uh, who support our young people every year. And let's get them out on May 30th. Josh would be like a rock star. Oh, <laughs> always. The kids always want him back. So. All right. Uh, and you brought uh, Jared and Joseph to do a little uh, judo demo for for us this morning. Yeah. So Thanks so we're going to step out of the way, and yes. you, can, you can keep talking about that right. as we welcome in the guys, and they will, uh, yeah, <laughs> tell, tell us what they're going to do here as they go about it. Get All right. Guys. Well, these guys here, Jared, King of the Cage champion, Joseph is a sensei, and they're practicing some traditional judo moves, and they've been studying with each other since Jared's been 14, so this is another story where he took a youth under his wing. Joseph also is a social worker and youth empowerment oh, specialist, wow. so he knows this, the, basically the after effects of dedicating to the children and now seeing Jared as another sensei coming up throughout the ranks. I love it. And great teachers, obviously, right? Yeah, they lead by example, they lead from the front, and they take their job very serious. But I think I think you can do good. I, again, so. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I've been told I had to get in there. So, all right, we'll, we'll get him to one last move. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up here. There you go. All right. No, 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 no. no, no. You, you lost the belt. You're not no, 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 no. All right. It's game time. It's game time. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, Youth Power 7 rematch tomorrow. I'm not showing up for work either. Uh, Youth Power 7 that takes place the afternoon of May 30th at the uh, Expo Center over at Northlands. You can learn all about it by uh, clicking on our website, edmonton.ctvnews.ca, and just go to uh, Morning Live. There you go. Yep. Yeah. See you there. Good yeah. stuff. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much.